cold noodles and cheeseburger flavored noodles are both kinds of noodles that I'm going to talk to you about uh, right after that boop a doop boop boop thing. What's up guys, it's me, Noah Gluten. Now, uh, remember that video we did a few episodes back about uh, Nisin, those cup of noodle guys, and they had this weird Japanese jambalaya flavored cup of noodles from Denny's somehow? Well, anyway, uh, if you didn't watch that episode, well, shame on you, but you can go down to the description box and there's a link, or if you are on a, a computer screen, you can just click and then you'll see it. Internet. Anyway, Nissan is still doing questionable things over in Japan. See, they had the, the Kuppo Denny's Jambalaya, but now they've also got cheeseburger noodles. And you might say to yourself, hey, why would I want to eat cheeseburger noodles? That sounds disgusting. What else you got? Then I'd say, well, they uh, also have a hot dog flavored noodle. As you can see, they're taking on sort of an America f yeah approach to their branding with stars and stripes on the packaging and and the words American Noodle. As is usually the case, the people over at Rocket News 24 actually tried this crazy weird Japanese product. They even got an American guy to try it out and uh, see if the cheeseburger noodles could deliver on their promise. I don't know what the promise is. I hope it's that uh, it's that you're gonna probably get pretty bad heartburn. Anyway, Ike, the taster for Rocket News 24, I mean, told his name is actually pronounced Ike, well, uh, he said it had a spicy aroma and didn't look bad. It had a strong taste of tomato and chili, and uh, he liked it. I'm not sure if Nissin gets any points for accuracy if the dominant flavor in a hot dog noodle is tomato and chili, but uh, he also said it reminded him of Sloppy Joe's. Uh, and on the plus side, he did not seem to vomit from it immediately, which uh, I guess is a positive. The cheeseburger noodles did not fare nearly as well as Ike said that they smelled exactly like McDonald's, which is not a huge surprise because we ate those uh, cheeseburger flavored Cheetos here on the show and found out that basically the Japanese have figured out how to distill McDonald's into powder form. Now these noodles have uh, little bits of burgers and cheese floating in them, uh, which sounds like a mistake because why would you do that on purpose? Uh, but they, uh, they they did it on purpose. His final verdict on the product was, I don't know, but I think in the interest of time and condensing, I think we're just gonna take the last word of that and just say that it's uh, no. In other noodle news, Cup Noodles experimenting with a new cold somen noodle. It's their first ice cup noodle, and it launched in Japan earlier this month, of course, on somen day, which we all know is the sixth. Somen is a thin Japanese noodle which can be eaten either hot or cold, though I kind of prefer it cold. Uh, and they're calling these, uh, it's a light cup noodle, and basically you pour in some boiling water, stir it for 30 seconds, then let it sit for two and a half minutes. After that, you add ice, stir, and you have very traditional styrofoam cup cold somen, the way that everyone's grandma used to make styrofoam cup cold somen. The Nissin somen noodles come with flavors of clam, ginger, shiitake mushroom, and seaweed with a chicken flavor soup base. And it sounds actually really refreshing and kind of nice until you see the, the picture in the, in the thing and it looks like they've got Lucky Charms on top. They're probably weird dehydrated fish things, which can be fine, but I don't know, the whole thing kind of weirds me out. All right, guys, sound off in the comment section. Let us know which noodles you like the most, which ones sound the worst, and uh, put them all in there, and then uh, Bruce will go through it and read it all. Thanks, Bruce. That's it for us today, guys. I'm Noah Galutin, and uh, I uh, I like noodles. They're, they're delicious. So subscribe to Taste It, because I talk about noodles sometimes. I said noodles a lot this episode. I hope you guys appreciated that.